Hey, Kyle, congratulations on the win. Uh, where does this uh, victory rank in terms of career highlights, being able to uh, get it done in Vancouver in Canada? Uh, I believe that's the highlight of my career so far. You know, to be able to perform like that in front of Canadian fans, I can't, and I mean with my fiance in my corner, I can't think of, you know, anything, uh, you know, anything better until I get that championship belt. I know if you had a year away, you'd be fighting at lightweight, but I know this is another featherweight fight, but it was a process to get down. How did you feel in there? Because it looked like your size and strength pay, played a, a good role in this uh, win tonight. Yeah, now that, you know, especially having fought not too long ago uh, in February, staying at 45 is, is not a problem. It's, you know, it's just if I take like a year off, like we're not able to get a fight, then it's hard for me to get back down to 145. When I stay active like this, uh, you know, especially my, my fiance has been in my corner now and she, she takes care of my food for me. So before, you know, maybe I'd, I'd go on little binges here and there. But with her in my corner, uh, you know, 145 is not a problem at all. Anything about Blake surprised you tonight? No, uh, he did everything I thought he was going to do. Uh, you know, good power standing. Uh, I was expecting the kicks. I was expecting the power. I was expecting the shots. Uh, in the clinch, he was, he was strong. Uh, I mean, just looking at him, I expected him to be strong. Um, but I knew I could kind of go muscle for muscle with him. I'm, I'm pretty strong myself. So, you know, I, you know it, was, it was everything I, I thought it would be. Um, and we're just going to grow from there. You know, I felt like my technique was on point. Now we're just going to continue to build the output and then start sprinkling in a little bit more power. Um, how much did you feed off the crowd tonight, having the Canadian support? Uh, 100%. It was, I've never felt a crowd like that. I mean, my first fight in, in Toronto, it was a haze. You know, I took the fight on, on super short notice. And that of, was super quick. Oh, you're talking the other Toronto fight. I was thinking BTC when you had that quick fight. Oh, yeah, no, BTC was awesome too. But yeah, when I, when I fought uh, Diego Ferreira, um, again, it was all a haze because I hit so fast. I had to cut some weight. And I just kind of rolled in the cage. I had no idea, no idea who was fighting. Uh, so this one, I got to sit back and enjoy it. And it was awesome. I mean, starting at the ceremonial weigh-ins, I wasn't sure. You know, I, I've generally been the away guy. So it's like, ah, everybody's going to boo. And I got to go stand here and do this. And, but uh, walking out to the Canadians, it was, it was amazing having them all cheer. And, you know, I may I raise my hand up and, ah, and yeah. I put it down. They raise, ah, you know, kind of get to c control the crowd a little bit and everyone cheer for me. Uh, you know, it made me feel amazing. Do you think Blake underestimated you at all tonight? I think everybody underestimates me generally all the time. Um, you know, my, my UFC record doesn't represent my skill set much at all. So, which I mean is great in the sense of people underestimating me, but um, you know, now I'm putting everything together better. Uh, this 145 pound class is getting much easier to cut down to. So I think we're gonna see, you know, my true potential now. And just last one for me, uh, Diana Belbita, your teammate, getting the victory as well. How much did that sort of, you know, give you a little boost going into the fight? Because I know she's been putting in a lot of work at, at your gym. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, seeing her in the training room every day uh, and seeing her go out there and then seeing her in some of those positions in the fight. And I'm like, I know what she's going to do because I know what she does in training. And then she did it perfectly. So it's one thing to, to train with someone and then see them go in, into a fight and then they don't do anything they do in the training room. Uh, Deanna was able to go and take everything she's learned in the training room and use it in the fight. And it worked well. So that was, that was awesome to watch. And I'm like, you know, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay calm. I'm going to work my jab. I'm going to work my leg kicks my, and move around. And then, uh, yeah, I was able to stay super disciplined. And, and uh, yeah, you know, our gym is 2-0 and so far. And we got Mike Malak going up soon. We'll be 3-0. and Kyle and Fenway, um, I know you said nothing Blake did really surprise you in there. But, like, I guess what was going through your head when, like, the broadcast seemed you were up 2-0 going into the third round. And mm -hmm. he's kind of still playing to the crowd, like kind of dancing around in there. So I know you front kicked him at one point. So, but what's going in your head? Like, like you're, you're losing this fight and you're still kind of doing this in front of me. Uh, I think it was a little bit of, I wouldn't say desperation, but he's trying to do something different. Nothing else was working. He couldn't take me down. He wasn't going to, you know, outstrike me. So if he could coax me into brawl with him, which I would have loved to do, but I mean, I'm already up, you know, I'm winning, I'm winning with this jab and the kicks and stuff. So I'm like, I love to stand and bang, put something on for this, this Canadian crowd. But uh, I knew he had power and I knew if, if I stood and banged, it would, it would, uh, you know, make it a little more 50, 50. So I just had to, you know, stay, stay confident and stay reserved and, and keep playing that game. But I mean, I loved it. 
you know, I wanted to, you know, get into it a little bit too and get the crowd going a little bit more about like, ah, stay calm, Kyle. Don't get too crazy. Were you expecting that from him in there? Because like there's some fighters like when you fight Kevin Holland, you know that's going to happen in there. But were you expecting like Blake to do that? In there? Yeah, I mean, just everything I've seen from him all fight week, he, he likes to get hyped up. I mean, even when we're in the back, uh, he walked out before me, but like all we could hear for like 20 minutes before that was him screaming in his corner and screaming, let's go and getting hyped up and stuff. And and yeah, I'm like, awesome, that's great. You know, he's gonna come in with lots of energy, and you know, we're gonna we're gonna stand in there and swing. And so, I, but I knew I knew he'd be bringing some of that into the octagon as well. Kyle, right here. Um, you touched on a little about uh, House of Champions, and there's also Niagara Top Team down in Southern Ontario as well. Do you see kind of a, a bit of a movement now in Southern Ontario? If, do you feel that that's kind of coming on at this point? Yeah, absolutely. Even uh, you know, kind of like Central Ontario, Muskoka Martial Arts there, my gym. Um, but yeah, I mean, House of Champions and Niagara Top Team were, were, were close, we're 20, 30 minutes away, and we got so many fighters right now. You know, we got, uh, you know, Anthony Romero is going to be fighting, um, you know, for the PFL. We had a bunch of guys fight for the BFL last night, um, you know, guys fighting for BTC in Ontario. There's just so many pro guys, and now that we're all able to get together and build off each other, um, and I mean, like, Josh Hill, um, you know, a bunch of guys in, uh, in Bellator. Uh, Dennis Purick over in one. I mean, we got guys in every single big organization and we get to train together. So we're really, I think, becoming a powerhouse in, in MMA. Fantastic to see. And last one for me. I mean, Blake was unbeaten prior to tonight. I know he had the draw, but does that kind of uh, make another feather in your cap and to take away his uh, unblemished record? Absolutely. I think that helps me steal his hype. I mean, he had a lot of fans. He had a lot of hype. Um, you know, some people might say he's a good-looking dude. You know, he's he's going in there. So I'm trying to I'm trying to steal everything from him, right? I'm trying. I can't take the hair, but I could take everything else. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I could take his his you know his first loss. You got him in the beard department. Oh, 100 percent. Kyle, um, first time you got a win since 2019 against Polo Reyes. Obviously, with the draw last time out against Duhu Choi. Um, what was the mindset like coming into this fight, having it been so long since you got a win in the octagon last? Um, you know, I didn't necessarily feel, I didn't feel that. Against Do Ho Choi, in my mind, I felt like I won. Um, you know, in England, um, I felt like I won. I mean, obviously, you know, it, it wasn't on the scorecards and all this and that, but I felt confident in myself and my performances and I knew it was going to be minor changes to to you know to change that draw to a victory um so I wasn't too concerned about it I was gonna you know I was gonna go in it was gonna be me and Blake tonight um you know I was excited to be here in Canada but I was gonna go in I was gonna do everything I've been training for um as if nothing else mattered thank you All right, thank you, everybody.